For almost every step of his 12-mile walk, Daryl Dyer has company. So they know your body type, how you walk. Since he began feeding crows 16 years ago, several generations of them have followed him. They'll, they'll, they'll take their young down and say, hey, this guy, you want to get to know this guy? He's got the food, so. <laughs> Dyer isn't letting his imagination fly away. Come on, guys. University of Washington researchers have found crows can recognize individual human faces and pass down through generations whether that face is friend or foe. This is a real crow actually stuffed by our volunteer Joel here. Crows are also keen observers of death. In one of their latest experiments, researchers wearing masks carried a dead crow around Seattle parks and recorded how other crows reacted to both human and the bird. They found the birds used specific vocalizations and gathered in large flocks over the deceased, a behavior called mobbing. Crows have evolved to have these complex social relationships. So crows like animals like dolphins and primates have a very large brain relative to the rest of their body, whereas a similar sized bird would have a much smaller brain. In another part of the experiment, researchers used slightly radioactive traces to measure the brain activity of crows after they were shown a dead bird. The scans showed the section of the brain involved in memory formation light up, suggesting the crows were learning. When you see that its brain is using the same parts of the brain to remember things that we do or to learn fearful situations like we do, it maybe gives you a little more empathy to the bird or a little more kinship with the bird. A kinship Dyer cherishes on his walks. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.